Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tequila Tots. We're back at it with cocktail series and you know, we're at the height of summer. So I thought that I would showcase some cool summer drinks that are definitely gonna cool you off, refresh you, and that have great, great amounts of alcohol and great flavor profiles. So in front of me, we got some Prosecco, we got some Flecha Azul Tequila that we recently showcased, and we're gonna be making a strawberry frosé. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna add about four cups of ice here into our blender. I'm excited because this is the first time we're, you know, using a, a blender, we're gonna get crazy. Let's get rolling. So to the blender, we're gonna add four ounces of strawberry puree. Just dump it right in. And don't be afraid, while you're making your cocktail, don't be afraid about how much ice you got, if you got too little, too much. Um, as we blend this cocktail, we'll realize if we need to add more tequila, if we need, it need to add any other components. But the Frosé is a great batching cocktail. So if you got a group of friends coming over, you're hanging out by the pool, whatever that might be, it's gonna be a great cocktail to be able to batch, make in bulk, and pour it out. We're gonna throw some strawberries here into our mix. We're gonna save one for garnish, so hopefully I can, yep, there we go. Save one for garnish. And we're gonna add the most important component, which is our tequila. We're gonna be doing about two ounces, you know, no, four ounces. We're gonna be free pouring as well. Cause hey, what the heck, you know, you're hanging out with your friends, you wanna have a good time. I don't think we wanna go light. I think, you know, we, we might wanna add a little bit more tequila, just to make sure. Add about another two ounces here. We're gonna pour it on strong. From there, we're also gonna add about an ounce and a half to two ounces of sour to just get a nice sour citrus component to the cocktail. Pour that into our blender directly. Now, I'm thinking, am I forgetting something? And uh, I think it's the most important component here for this frosé. We're gonna be popping some champagne. So um, let's see if I don't break any lights, but let's go ahead and pop it. Let's see how my popping skills are. All right, ready, set. All right, so uh, as you're pouring your Prosecco or your champagne, whatever that might be, uh, just be careful as to not just dumping the bottle like completely, gently pour your Prosecco because it's gonna bubble up. So gently and slowly pour that Prosecco. I'm probably gonna be doing about, you know, to your liking, do as much as uh, the bubble you want. But I'm probably gonna do about uh, to the six cup mark. Let's see, we're getting we're getting kind of full here. But um, let's see if this is the right ratio. We're gonna go ahead and close our blender. This is one of the few, first few times I use this, so now I'm struggling here. Now I really can't close it. Let's see, release. It was just working a minute ago, and of course, when the cameras are on, it's trying to play funny with us. Yeah, we can probably edit this out, but let's see. Now just completely locked on me. Should we risk it and just blend it? Hopefully uh, nothing flies out on us. So we're gonna turn on our blender and uh, let's go ahead and crush. Okay, power on. Now it really doesn't wanna work. Oh, you know what? I think it's because it senses that this is not locked. Hold on because it has to click here, hold on. There we go, you see? Now we're in business. Let's go ahead and crush the ice. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a pulse. You know, I think I went a little too crazy with the amount of booze um, that we had. And again, this is like the first time I use my blender. I actually don't like cook here in my kitchen, so uh, we had a little bit of a struggle. But I think this is a nice consistency. Could use a little bit more ice, but for the purpose of this evening, we're just gonna go ahead and directly pour our frosé into our cup. It's got some of that strawberry, that fresh strawberry, the strawberry puree, the tequila the Prosecco, and we're gonna garnish our cocktail with a nice little lime wheel. 
a little bit of mint. Just give it a nice visual. And we're gonna float the strawberry on the top. Or it just sinks to the bottom. So, here we have it, a strawberry frosé. Go ahead and make this cocktail at home. Enjoy it with the, uh, your friends at the pool, at the party. It's a great refreshing cocktail. Let's go ahead and try it out. It's a winner. It's strong. Put a lot of tequila in this one. Ooh. Oh yeah. Mm. Alex, you gotta try this, man. Mm. The ice, the texture. Mm. I don't wanna stop. Mm. Okay, back to business. So, on our next episode of Cocktail Series, we're gonna stay in rhythm with Cocktail Series, and we're gonna be featuring one of our cocktails from my restaurant called Laugh Now, Cry Later. So, a little sneak peek. The cocktails at my restaurant are Drake-inspired. My favorite artist is Drake, so our cocktail menu is Drake-inspired. All the cocktails are named after my favorite Drake songs. So on our next episode of Cocktail Series, we will be showca showcasing our Laugh Now, Cry Later, which is a jalapeno and cucumber infused tequila, and it's just like a jalapeno cilantro lime margarita. I'll catch you on the next one. Go ahead and like this video, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time. Salud.